Hello, 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 and welcome back to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Today we're doing another artist spotlight. Today we are looking at Jolly's art. Uh, this list was once again curated by Malik Sire, and it's uh, supposed to fit the horror theme. So I'm excited to see what we've got today. Uh, and we're going to start this off with what I am very excited to see a Metapod and Deoxys. So let's just jump right in. This is... Oh, fuck. That's already looking good. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling today. Oh, what the fuck? Yep. Uh... What the hell is going on here? Oh, it also says to check the alt sprites on this one. Oh. Oh, that's a good one, too. He... He, he makes me think of, like, a bondage Deoxys. <laughs> oh. Are these, like different poses for him oh that's cool okay that's really cool i like that the dna cocoon pokemon is this like a a reference to something maybe like a horror movie that i don't know of like skin <laughs> that's that's probably is a horror movie but i'm i'm feel like i was making it up uh, anyway, oh god, a pincer and eradicate. You know, I'm surprised there aren't like, well, I'm not, there probably are a shit ton of rat, horror rat sprites in here. I just never think that. Cool, cool, great. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna be horror. Horror. Oh! Oh! Look in the mouth and his arms and everything is upsetting here. Oh, I like that his horns is like is like are like his teeth a bit. Oh, the stag mouse. Oh, that is just that is really gross. I apologize if my voice is a little bit off today. I've I've got a bit of a sore throat. Oh my god, I hate him so much. I hate this guy. <laughs> he is... Oh, he is a gnarly ass dude. Okay, let's do another rat then. Uh, Reggie Giga. That is one big rat. Okay. All right, I'm excited here. <laughs> oh no! I didn't expect the multitude of eyes and the fucking teeth on this asshole. The colossal mouse Pokemon. Oh god. Oh fuck! Imagine you hear something scratching in your walls, and this guy just comes busting through. WHERE'S THE CHEESE?! <laughs> TAKE ME TO YOUR FRIDGE! God, I hate him. Ew, I hate his weird little thing on his head. Also, though, I do like his, like, weird... rat tail wraps... that he's got around his wrists and his shoulders. Like, it looks like, so, like he's got, like, tails wrapped up. Oh my god, that would have been... That would have been that. Is, that would have been really gross to have like little rats hanging off of it. Okay, sorry, my, my brain wandered a little there. Um, all right, so Clefairy and Gengar. I know I've looked at Clefable and Gengar, but I don't think I've ever looked at Clefairy. Um, what is this little son of a bitch gonna be? <laughs> I like the shape. I've got to admit, I really like that silhouette. I'm enjoying. Oh no! 
I mean... I mean, I like the silhouette, but then I saw its face, and that is just a horrifying face. <laughs> oh, he is just the face of evil. I feel like this is probably the one. I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting to see a trend in, like, the facial features and things like that. Oh, my God. That is so... Disturbing. I don't know. Something like the weird, like, growth or whatever you want to call that of, like, the purple colors. Or maybe that's, like, staining. Oh, that's disturbing. And look how detailed his goddamn, like, his eyes and his face region is. Oh, I hate him. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> oh my god, we got a Parasect and Lugia? I never would have thought about these two. <laughs> um okay. This isn't gonna be great. This is gonna be a monster. Holy shit! He got a little drool there, bud. I am f wow. Okay, first off, horrifying. This is unpleasant to look at. You made me sick here, Charlie. <laughs> I, I, I can't even begin to describe how upsetting this guy is. Second, those fucking hands have brought me so much joy today. Those are the coolest fucking hands. For those of you unaware, one of my favorite features about Lugia is its stupid hand wings and how big and how, how doofy they are, or I guess not doofy, but like how those chonking hands and I love this. I, I love these hands. They're very cool and very well done. Especially like the one dragging on the back. Oh God. Okay. I, I'm going to need to move on or else I'll, I'll be here forever. Just staring at hands and fingers. Also that, that mycelinium drool is nasty. dude. <laughs> it, it, oh God, not this one. Galaylee makes some of the most cursed fusions. But maybe Parasect will make it better, right? That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> Look at it. Why is it so decomposed? I get, uh, you know what? That makes sense, actually. That actually mushrooms decompose. You know what? This one, this one gets a pass. It should look like this. It almost makes me think of that uh, the show uh, Survivor Rain. Is that what that's called? The one with the mushroom, all the mushroom people. Just how gruesome the mushroom overgrowth is. Survivors, is that it? Survivors Rain. I can't remember the name. Go check it out. It's a good show. Uh, Parasect and Deoxys. Oh, this is so good. I can already tell you. It's going to be amazing. But then again, Parasects are always really good. So, oh, look at that. I love his body. Oh, this, this is not the right one. Oh, I hate his body. <laughs> I hate him. Oh my God. That is so good though. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know why I didn't expect this. 
This is exactly what Paris, like all the mycelinium and mushroom shit leads to with this, but still. <laughs> oh, I love it and I hate him. I don't know why I like this one's body so much. I think it's kind of like, a, it's got that Elium stuff, but vibe. But this one, oh my god. And also the little mushroom growths are so good, by the way. You've, you've captured a lot of a lot of details with such little space to work with. Uh, <laughs> next up, God, he is disgusting. Uh, next up is Venomoth and Slacking. This is not something I would have thought of as pairing of a fusion, let alone a horror fusion. But we'll see. I'm sure it'll be absolutely disgusting. It looks like something from a horror film. It really does. I d can it fly? That is, I think, my biggest question here. Can it fly? <laughs> we were so busy asking, could it fly? We never stopped to ask, should it fly? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what the fuck that meant. Oh, uh, that, that sounds like that's the final quote of the movie. <laughs> this guy stars in. He's killed half the city. He's finally, quotation mark, stopped. And and the, the, the old man character, we were so busy asking, could it fly? We never stopped to ask, should it fly? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Um, all right. Tentacruel and Dusk Noir. Oh no, this one's gonna be bad. Tentacles plus portal to hell. All right. I'm 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 on the fence about this one. And that is <laughs> the gripper jellyfish. Oh my god, a closer inspection of it is so damning. Oh. There's so much to unpack here. Let's just make sure this is the right one. There's so much to unpack. Okay, I, I, after, after like having seen it close up, I'm, I'm seeing, it's got like anglerfish vibes, I guess. It's got that weird little, uh, anglerfish body. And is that an eye on the inside? That is disturbing as fuck. Oh my god, it's definitely a, a, an aquatic life form that just kind of swims about along the bottom. And you see that beautiful red eye. Beautiful. I would not swim towards an eye like that, first of all. <laughs> but as you get closer, it just like... and Oh, I just realized it also has arms. I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he's so disturbing. It's okay though. We knew he would be. We all we all knew he would be horrifying. Gengar, Registeel. Oh, like in the shape. <laughs> Gengar's tongue is just so creepy. Oh, why? Oh, there's something so fucking disturbing about, like, I guess vertical sideways mouths. I don't know what it is, but mouths like this are, I'm sorry, I've, I've got the hiccups, um, are very 
creepy. It also kind of has Waylord vibes or Waylord vibes a little bit, just in a much horrifying, more horrifying fruit. Also, I do love the arms. I love the hands on this guy. Uh, but <laughs> also, and then you've got like the fucking eyes or lights in there. I assume they're like creepy eyes, right? That is fucking fantastic. He is a real, the Iron Shadow. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I, I, I can imagine him like a pool of shadow appearing underneath you. And then just that mouth. Whoa. Clamping down. That is, that is fantastic. Very visual. Very, very visceral fusion there. <laughs> oh God. I think we've seen this one. I think we've seen this one. Oh, maybe not. I think we've seen mine junior. I have not seen this one. Why did you make this? <laughs> Jolly. Why? I just... <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is horrifying. This is genuinely a creepy motherfucker. Oh, he's got like a weird clown nose tail. I think... I think <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, I'm sorry, my brain, I, I, it's, he's ripping the fucking thoughts out of my mind. I was wondering if like he puts a nose on his face, if that would make him less creepy. But then I was like, well, what if like he moves his tail around to his nose and he makes himself look less creepy? But then I was like, I don't know if the nose would make it any more better. I, I, you, you've stumped me, man. All right, pincer and rapid dash. Um, let's let's take a look, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, they're no, they're definitely supposed to, but spindly horses are so creepy. That is worse than I was expecting. Why the fuck was I not expecting horrible teeth on this thing? You know, I've learned throughout my time playing this game that never expect anything. Like once you, once you fully go in expecting a fusion to be this or that, you're going to end up with something completely opposite, completely unexpected. And then I turn around and think, Hey, there's not going to be horrifying teeth on this thing. And there is and, uh, my, my, my mind is a, a cloud of horror. Now <laughs> that was good though. Fuck. Oh, uh, next up, Pincer and Duskull. Dusk Noir. All right. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. This is, this is going to be fine. It's not going to be a... Oh, the mouth horror. It's not going to be mouth horror. It's somehow worse than I expected it to be. I was expecting like full on teeth kind of vibes like the fangs but something is it's something so much creepier about it being that plus a very rib like structure This feels like this could be like some kind of boss in like a, a souls like game. I like him. 
Actually, you know what? He's he's horrible, but I think I kind of like him. I think we could be friends. I think this is one of the horror monsters that I could get together with and have a a cold cup of I don't know what does what does this guy drink? Souls. Yeah. Uh, all right, Lantern and Rayquaza. This one. Oh. This one's interesting because, you know, you got the neon uh, light lantern thing. Oh, this one's kind of cute. I don't think this, okay, I was gonna say, I don't think this is the one. This one's a little too cute. That one feels more appropriate. This one is a nightmare. <laughs> Jesus. You, you definitely have a way with the mouths. Oh my God, look at the shadowing in there. God damn. You really captured the horror aspect of being devoured alive. I also, I also like like the uh, Rayquaza patterning on this guy. Like normally when you think horror, you don't really think like a neon blue yellow creature, but this is very, it's, it's, it's very pretty and horrific. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise it makes. <laughs> okay. That that toned down its horror a little bit there. Just a little. God damn, look at that mouth. I'm sorry, I, I get caught up on the little details on these guys. Uh next up is Unknown and Gengar. Have I never done this? Have I Oh god. I don't like that it's just a Gengar shaped silhouette. I love it. I love the eye. But yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think that's the one we're looking for. Oh my, God. oh, I went the wrong way. Jesus. Okay. I. Every one of you that did one of these. I want all of you to sit down and think, why did you do these? I love that he's got like a red eye. It really differentiates him. Also, his weird silhouette of him just being <laughs> a fucking towering mouth also really sets him apart. Um, God damn. I do love his shape, though. He's got a great shape. He's really fit. I like, I like that he almost, you could sit in his mouth like a chair. Or a toilet. Of course, <gasps> that's how he gets you. He's like, do you need to take a sit? You need a break. Go ahead, sit in this chair. And then you sit down and then suddenly it's this guy. And he's like, oh, I see you sat down in my mouth. And I don't know what that, that wasn't a, that wasn't any kind of like a catchphrase or anything. I see you. Uh, okay, we need to move on. I'm I'm slowly falling apart here. Uh, next up is Duskull and brain fart. Uh, Deoxys, it's right there on the screen. Okay, <laughs> then this is the last one. So, Deoxys or a Duskull has a lot. Like I think almost every Pokemon, maybe some of the new ones don't, but have a custom fusion. So he's he's very popular amongst spiders oh i like his little bone tail thing but i was gonna say i don't think this is it i'm oh you have multiples what is this this looks familiar you seem so familiar to me and yet i don't know where i've seen you before uh these are both horrifying and I love the the ghostly flame Aurora around his head and arm. He's like the, uh, what the who's that guy called? Uh, Jack Nicholson or whatever. Uh, Ghost Rider. He's Ghost Rider. He's the Pokemon's equivalent of Ghost Rider, right? He gets on his his motorcycle and rides around like. <laughs> Is that something? Because I don't know Ghost Rider. So I'm sorry. 
Uh, this guy looks like something from like a creepy pasta or like a creepy horror game, which is makes me wonder if maybe I've seen this somewhere and it's like a reference to something. But goddamn, those those tentacly those Tim Burton esque tentacles are very disturbing. God, I love both of these. Uh, okay. <laughs> These are great. I loved all of these fusion. These were really good. Like horror. They were really horror. Um, anyway, thank you so much for all your sprites, Jolly. This was great. Uh, we, we, we really enjoyed them. Uh, make sure you guys leave in the comments and let them know how much we appreciate all their sprites and uh, how much the work, uh, we appreciate all the work they've done on the game. Uh, but until next time, thank you guys so much for joining me on this one. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.